Cisco, who the hell do you think you're supposed to be? That's what I really want to know. Who the fuck do your milk dud, vanilla milk dud head ass think you're supposed to be? Because first of all, you want to tell Tasha that she don't need to have no other niggas around her damn son. That she don't need to be fucking nobody else. When you was out here fucking diamond behind her motherfucking back. Then you want to tell Diamond that she ain't got no right to be all pictures with another nigga. When you cheated on her ass and you didn't even claim her motherfucking ass. Are you out of your motherfucking mind? Who the fuck do you supposed to be? Who the fuck you supposed to be, Cisco? I don't even get why Crisco think that he's supposed to do whatever the fuck he want to do and the bitches that he fucking ain't allowed to do shit. She, she had every motherfucking right to move on to the next dick when you lied to her about having a six month old son that you had and you conceived at the time you was fucking dating her ass when she was over there in LA when you wasn't claiming her. You had her thinking that she was the only bitch in your life when she really wasn't. You were still fucking Tasha. And you want to sit up here and get mad because she fucking somebody else? Who the fuck do you supposed to be, Crisco? That's what I want to. That's what I want to know. Who the fuck your ass supposed to be? Because you ain't no motherfucking body. That's what the fuck I want to know. Because you walking around here like you something, and you ain't shit. Because if you were somebody, you would have told her about your motherfucking son, or you would have claimed her motherfucking ass. You shipped her off to fucking strangers when she left her fucking child being a bullshit ass mother to be with your motherfucking ass. Love a child. Love her friends. Love her motherfucking family to come to New York to be with your motherfucking ass. And from the time she brought a bitch ass here, you took her to a stranger's house and dumped her out. Dumped her off there. And she didn't even know where the fuck you stayed at. But yeah, you want to get mad because she out here fucking somebody else? Bitch, fuck you. Who the fuck you supposed to be? This shit really had me motherfucking heated. Like, who the hell do you think you are, Crisco? You're popping shit for no motherfucking reason. Do you want to say that she did not come to New York for you? That's what you said. You said that you don't believe that she came to New York for you because she hopped on the next dick that quick. Fuck you. Because if I was her, I would have hopped on the next one too. Who the fuck you supposed to motherfucking be, Crisco? With your ugly ass. You look like a fucking snowman. And you want to sit up here and tell somebody else and call somebody a bitch. Because they want to do what the fuck they want to do. You do what the fuck you want to do. So what's the problem, bitch? What's the motherfucking problem? You created this mess from the moment you um, fucked this bitch and said that you didn't claim her and that you dumped her off for strangers. You never gave a fuck about Diamond. But once you saw her out there with somebody else, you want to get mad and rich messy ass gonna tell you this shit as if as, as if it's something as if she gonna get in trouble. Fuck you. <sighs> Then it's Johnny and Rich situation. I can't take another season watching Rich fuck one of his damn employees. I just can't take it another season. Like, can he get another storyline? Because first of all, I've heard about this bitch before. Um, I remember her tweeting about Rich and posting his dick pics and everything on Twitter or whatever. I remember her beefing with Erica Mena over Rich. I remember that shit. So, um, I know exactly who she is. Um, she's some... Um, urban model from Houston or some shit like that so yeah I heard of her and DJK Slay wants Rich to work with her but Rich feels like they need to get their personal situations clear before they decide to work together because they had you know a tumultuous past as far as you know her posting the pictures her putting their personal business out there and everything like that and Rich is always in some messy ass shit when it comes down to a bitch you know what I'm saying like he always in some bullshit when it comes down to a bitch that he working with he always fucking somebody that he working with I'm surprised he never fucked Oliver but that's besides the point all I gotta say is I cannot take another season of watching you do that shit and Johnny crying because he fucked another bitch Rich saying that he ain't gotta apologize for fucking another bitch like I could care less to be quite honest, I really could care less. Like, I don't really care about this Johnny chick. And it looks like she's going to get the fighting with Precious Paris next, se next next episode. And I actually like Precious Paris. And I'm not really digging Johnny right now. Like, she ain't giving me nothing to root for her for. She just popped up on my screen. Now she crying about rich fucking somebody. Like, if that's what you think going to make me like your ass, bitch, then you're out of your mind. So we get into um, Peter and Amina. Now, this is one couple I'm sick of. I'm so sick of Peter and Amina. Um, Peter thinks that just because he wants to get the kids together and bring them together and shit, that means that him and Amina got a chance. No, it does not mean you have a chance. You married this bitch, had her thinking she was the only one when she was out when you was really with Tara. You be staying at Tara's house. And 
People argue me up and down on under my video last week about what I said about Amina. I really don't give a fuck to be quite honest because I don't give a fuck what Tara did in her past. I'm not saying that it's right, but I wasn't there to see it. I'm going I'm judging about what the fuck I see on this damn TV. And from what I saw on this TV, Amina was a dirty ass bitch. Now as far as Tyra is concerned, apparently she um, met, met Peter like a couple of, like 13 damn years ago. And she was sleeping with him. She was dating him. And then only for her to find out he had another family that she didn't never know about. And then he left the woman for Tyra. And then years later, the same thing happened to Tyra. He was with her for 13 years. And then he went out and got with Amina. The only difference is he took it to the next level and married her ass. Now, I don't feel sorry for both Tyra or Amina. I don't. So let's just keep it 100. I don't feel sorry for Tara because she's stupid as hell. And I don't feel sorry for me because she was all up in Tara's face, smiling in her face, having Tara push her music and push Peter to work with her. All the while, she fucking him. So how the fuck you think I'm supposed to have sympathy for her ass any more than I need to have sympathy for Tara? I'm just saying, Amina ain't no damn victim. Tara ain't no victim, but right is right, wrong is wrong. Amina was wrong. Just because Tara was, what, was wrong for what the fuck she did in the past does not make what Amina did any less wronger. You know what I'm saying? Just because Tyra did some foul shit in the past does not mean that it gives Amina leeway to do it. Do the same thing to her. All I can say is that it's karma for Tyra, but at the end of the day, it's still wrong. I don't give a fuck what you say. It's still wrong. I don't feel sorry for Amina. You was in this bitch face. The only difference between Tyra and that motherfucking bitch that, sh that whatever happened with that with, uh, with Peter and that other bitch that, you know, was going on with Tyra. Tyra didn't even know that woman even existed. Amina knew Tyra fucking existed. Let's just be 100. She knew she existed. She was in the bitch face, smiling in the face. And Tyra listening to her music, going to her shows and shit. And all the while this bitch the fuck and married her man. So how the hell do you expect me to feel sorry for me? Now fuck that bitch. I don't feel sorry for her at all. And I don't feel sorry for Tyra either. So everybody that be all up under my video talking about what Tyra wrote on another you ain't saying about Fuck Tyra. This is about Amina. Like I said, I don't feel no sorry for Tyra than I do Amina. Both of them stupid as hell and both of them gutter minded. This motherfucker. So get the fuck off my dick about this shit. Because I'm not going to lay off Amina's wig. She playing like she a fucking victim and she not. Because she knew what the fuck it was when she decided to fuck with Peter. How you going to marry a nigga that's, that's living in the house with somebody else anyway? Like you setting yourself up for failure in the first place. You, Amina was stupid as hell. At least Tyra didn't marry the nigga knowing that he was living with somebody else. Amina wouldn't marry the motherfucker. Like you really think I'm supposed to feel sorry for a bitch like that? Get out of here. Please do. Please. Now... Sin is throwing this event and Rich and you know Rich is working with her now and that's really messy but whatever and he wants to represent her and Precious Paris. Apparently Precious Paris was with G Unit. She left G Unit because she was being overlooked kind of like Oliver was and she wants to work with somebody that's going to give her some high records and Rich hasn't been giving her shit. She's been waiting on Rich to give her a high record for the last three months and he never gave her nothing. But he wants her and Sin to do a song. What's up with everybody on these loving hip hop shows thinking they can sing? I never heard Sin harm a damn note. So how the fuck is she sing? Oh, okay. So, I want to say about the last time I talk about is the enemy in DC. And all I got to say is, I understand where man DC coming from. But he is being a little wimp ass bitch about it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I love me some DCs for a lot of different reasons. Jesus. But the fact of the matter is, he's being a little bitch. Samantha is your baby mama. You grown. You need to be able to talk to the girl about the situation. I get it. You don't want to be a weekend dad because you've been in his life five, seven days a week for all these years. You've had custody of him for all these motherfucking years. You've been a full-time dad all these years and now she want to make you a part-time dad. I get it. But I think that as adults and as parents, I think you guys should come to a solid agreement about what y'all can do because this is a child that's involved. So I just really feel like y'all need to get that together. And then DC need to be a man to stop involving Yandy and your mama into your issues. And then you involve your mama into your issues and now Samantha involved her uh, boy dagger ass mama to her issues. And now you gotta drag out fight because y'all can't seem to agree on shit because one point, one point the finger at the other one and then one throwing a drink at another and then the other one running after the other one like a raging bull. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. If only y'all could have talked about it like mature adults, maybe y'all mamas wouldn't even be throwing drinks at each other and maybe y'all wouldn't be fighting. Because I really feel like Judy never should have threw that drink at Samantha or Kim because all she asked was how old she was. I don't give a fuck if you don't supposed to ask a woman how old she is. That does not warrant you throwing a drink on nobody. Like, really? 
Because I ask you how old you are, you want to throw a drink on me? Really, bitch? And how old are you? Okay. So, that pissed me off. But, Mendici, I, I'm glad that Kim, Samantha, Mendici talked about it at the end. But I just felt like it really could have been handled better. And maybe if it was handled better, none of this would have happened. But that's really all I got to say about this episode, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm this close to not reviewing it. And then, hell... Black Ink Crew getting so damn good. I feel like reviewing it, but I'm too late now. It's already two episodes in, and I hate reviewing a show when I haven't reviewed it from the first episode. But um, I'm really glad that R&B Divas LA will be coming back um, next week. So that'll be another video for me to do. I'm going to be doing that. So that'll be a third video to add to my reality reviews. And, um, you know... Like, rate, subscribe, comment, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm going to try this again. If you want a gossip vlog, um, I'm going to ask you. I, I want you guys to tweet me topics. Either you can tweet it to my Twitter page, which is Mr. Underscore Still Standing With Dr. G. Or you can DM it to me on Instagram at Scotty Underscore By Underscore Nature. You can do that as well. Because um, I know y'all be wanting a gossip vlog, but y'all ain't responding to my messages about a gossip vlog. And I also want to do a rant video about Toya in Memphis. I think I'm going to do that too. Because y'all really been asking me to do that. But I'm out of here you guys. Peace.